this because I found this recently. This was my diary. Welcome. Hello, Chip Dippers. Welcome to another Retro Recipe Quick Bites. This is one of our informal style videos without all the usual bells and whistles. Weird. Now, today, I don't really know where to begin because I don't, I can't believe I'm making this video. Uh, I put a few things down here, and one of them, which I can show you, is of course the Zap 64. This was a pop culture icon in the 80s, and anyone that had a Commodore 64 subscribed to this if they knew what was good for them. Um, this one's falling apart. It's so it's been so loved and read by me over and over. Uh, the same applied for Crash Magazine if you had a Spectrum, or even Amtix if you had an Amstrad. Now that's not why I'm sitting next to the Amstrad BCW, but we'll come to that in a second. But yes, in modern days, in modern times, as opposed to medieval times when we subscribed to Zap, there's the new Zap, Zap 64 Micro Action. It's an A5 version of the mag, but it has direct lineage from the original because, well, a few reasons. Firstly, uh, the rights for Zap 64 were acquired by Fusion Retro Books, who published this, from the original publishers who owned the rights, or owned, I should say, past tense, the rights to Zap 64. But not just that, as you'll know, I'm a writer for Zap64 and Zap Amiga, and Roger Keane and Oliver Freight were not only good friends, close friends with Chris from Fusion Retro Books, but they actually were part of our Slack group, which is where we got most of the magazine made. So not only was Roger one of the original editors uh, from, I think, issue three of Zap64 onwards, let's see if he's in this one. Yep, <laughs> correction, issue four. And there he is introducing himself with his signature here. This is his first editorial for Zap. So from issue four, August 1985, to, well, last year until he passed away, um, he was on and off part of Zap. He was right there in our Slack chat, which I recently renamed to Zap Towers, for anyone who knows the name of the famous offices of Zap in Ludlow. So we would be, you know, creating these mags and Roger would pop up in the chat with guidance, ideas, confirmation of how they did things back then. And he gave us his full endorsement, therefore, for every issue that we published from the cover to the back page. Probably not that because that's a commercial. That's an ad, but cover to the back page. So it was devastating for us when Roger and Oliver both passed away um, a little space apart from some uh, different points last year um which makes it heart-wrenching and mind-blowing to say that there is a new editor for zap 64. chris wilkins edited the last 12 issues and very kindly he asked me to take over for the next 12 issues i thought about it for a couple of days because it's a big job and i wanted to do it no i could do it properly but I realized I just couldn't do anything but accept. It's kind of a lifelong dream, as, as has all of this YouTube shenanigans been. Don't worry, the channel isn't changing, nothing's going away. Uh, I am going to stop writing for Zap Amiga to save a little bit of time. And maybe you'll see like one less video a year or something. But really editing and writing for Zap is something I've, I've done in my spare time anyway, and as a hobby, because I love it. And that's what I wanted to touch upon because you might have seen a documentary I made about Zap64, which was how I actually became friends with Roger Keane and, and Oliver Frey because they were very pleased with the documentary and, and let me know just how pleased with it uh, they were. I think they understood that I basically got it. I understood what they were doing all those years. And this, I mentioned in that documentary, is Splash, Splash and, and crack. crack. All proceeds go to charity. Celebrating 10th issue with Dubri as Dubri. Any similarity to Rockford is purely coincidental. But yes, this was my magazine that I published along with a group of friends, Guy, Kat, uh, Alex and Matthew. Uh, back in the 80s, I didn't actually put a date on it here, but it was right around when we were you know, reading and in love with South. It had little comic strips, it had tips and tricks sections we even put commercials in but they didn't pay us for those uh hubba bubba you owe me i don't know you owe save the children 500 pounds how about that 
Um, there's the kind of editorial thing there. Uh, competitions. This was Zap and Crash for us, except it was Spatch and Crack. Which means... Well, that's just incredible, isn't it? Because now I'm actually the editor of the actual, official, fully rights-owned, fully endorsed by the original editor, the real Zap. I'm saying the words, but they don't. They're not. They're not computing up here. It's, it's too crazy. But yeah, look, there's my name uh, up here. And then Jay Brett was a fictional character, just as they had fictional characters and still do in Zap. But we won't tell you which ones those are. <laughs> Definitely not Lloyd Mangrum. <clears throat> I also wanted to show you this because I found this recently. This was my diary from... No, I did. It's an any year diary, which made finding out what year this was a little tricky. But I did write in it the year somewhere. Got computer hits at six from WH Smiths. Took C64 to Peter Jones, being repaired. Could have done it myself. Here we go. May the 6th, I think it's 1986. Ordered Spin Dizzy game. Got Zap, issue 14. So from that to, well, I never would have believed you in a million years if you had told me that I would be the editor one day. I didn't even have to wait a million years, only 37. Which finally brings me to why I've got the Amstrad PCW here, yeah, because this is my original childhood floppy disk where I would write letters and save them on the Amstrad PCW. If I put that in there and hit F1, the disk change, you will see a bunch of letters that I used to write to Zap. They never got published. But how funny now that, as I'm the editor, letters that I sent to Zap, I can now answer myself as editor. That's bizarre. I'll just load up a random one of these just so you can see the kind of nonsense and probably why they didn't publish it. Disk is right protected. Here we go. Dear Zap, I'm writing this letter in the hope that a computer hardware manufacturer may be reading. I was wondering if it's at all possible to link the good old C2N, as the data said, to a cartridge in the back of the commie and make it possible to load programs a lot faster by speeding up the C2N and letting the cartridge store the speedy information in its memory buffer and feed it into the commie in program format. Blah blah blah, yours rappingly, Chris Simpson. Thanks for a super duper. Xmas special. Um, I still don't really understand what I meant by that, but it's fun to think about. Maybe maybe this will inspire that product to finally be created. And to celebrate, I asked a few of my buddies from Splash and Crack to come join me, and they're going to be making their contributions to the mag as well. Uh, you're going to see a lot more fun, a lot more reviews, and most importantly of all, a lot more Rockford. I think those are important things, and I hope you enjoy what we're doing with it. I don't get any commission if you subscribe to Zap64, or Zap Amiga, or Antix, or Crash. But I do think it's a lot of fun, and it was a huge part of our childhoods. And I think if you've got a Spectrum, or a Commodore 64, or an Amiga, or an Amstrad, it's well worth subscribing, because we're trying to inject that same fun into those worlds, or those computers, today. And isn't it incredible that we've got actually more games than we can handle? To review for Zap. Right now, as I speak, we've got a backlog of 21 unreviewed games, brand new ones. Nearly 40 years after that computer started being reviewed in Zap, to have that many games just shows what an incredible community this is. Speaking of communities, it's time for me to get out of this community and let you get back to whatever you were doing before you played this video. Uh, until next time, as always, thank you for watching, subscribe, and support below. And cheerio.